Hi Capricorn, this is your February 27th through March 5th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. For some of you, it's not exactly new. <laughs> so here's what we have. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Will of Fortune. We have Justice in the potential outcome. We have the Emperor with the Three of Wands and the Devil. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, perhaps even another Capricorn. But uh, for most of you, you already know who this is. Like I said, it's uh, not exactly new. Perhaps you went on a couple of dates with this person uh, already. But if it is a brand new person, um, it's like they're not going to waste any time. They're going to... You've got a conf you've got an offer coming your way. A very serious offer to take it to the next level or to take it all away. To get serious right away. That type of offer. And for some of you, it could even be shocking. A shocking offer. In this person's mind, the two of you are already married. <laughs> I know it may sound creepy, but uh, this whole spread right here is about uh, this person um, waiting for uh, the next time they meet you. Or perhaps you're going to go on a couple of dates and on the third date they're going to be waiting for that third date and uh, they're going to make you the offer that's going to be really hard for you to refuse. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. I usually go with a King or a Queen or the Emperor and the Empress if one or both show up. So we got the Emperor, the first card in the potential outcome. I assume that's the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with. The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with or the Emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who knows what he or she wants. The Emperor often comes through as a future husband or a future significant other finger. Alright, so let's finish up talking about the uh, potential outcome, right? The three of ones, the next card over is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back. And, um, you know, the last card in the potential outcome is the devil, which is your major arcana card, right? That's you. So they made up their mind about what you mean to them, they made up their mind about where they want to take this connection, and uh, where they want to take it is all the way with you, right? And now they're waiting to let you know that, <laughs> hoping you will accept, right? The Seven of Pentacles, the first card I came out is a card of waiting, okay? It's clarified by the High Priestess, could be uh, Pisces, your general, but the High Priestess is a card of a secret, right? So I think they have something big, something major prepared. If you're going to out to dinner, it's going to be, you know... Um, a ring and a glass of champagne, you know, but it, perhaps it's something more <laughs> original, something more exclusive, right? But they're waiting for the next time they will see you, or at this, at some point during this week, they'll be waiting for the next time they see you, right? And uh, here comes the Ace of Swords, so the next time the two of you get together um, with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Will of Fortune, and Justice, that's what's waiting for you. All those four cards are waiting for you at that particular meeting or dates. All right, the Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation that they'll have with you. The Ace of Swords is a card of a brand new beginning. The, with the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around. Nobody is beating around the bush. They'll just tell you straight up that they have a lot of feelings for you. They want to get serious with you. They want to uh, move forward with you. Right? The Will of Fortune, clarifying the Ace of Swords, could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, but the Will of Fortune is a card of a starting a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. So that's what they're going to be talking to you about. You know, either starting a very serious cycle or getting this show on the road with you or making it official, making it exclusive or getting married, right? Speaking of getting married, the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck often comes through as a card of a proposal. You know, we have two Aces on the table, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, that speaks volumes. The Ace of Pentacles is a proposal card, but um, you know, this Ace always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious. So, they, yes, they do mean business. Justice in the middle, right there, right next to the Wheel of Fortune. Could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice is a very serious card. You know, Justice 
um, sometimes is the legal system. And what I mean by that, when people get married, they sign a piece of paper, right? And then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government, letting know the government that those two just got married. <laughs> um, justice could also be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel or what have you. So even though we do not have any commitment of marriage cards on the table, Capricorn, I still think that uh, this could be taken all away. The devil, the last card I came out, that's you. That's your major arcana card. So it'll be up to you what you want to do here. But in case you were wondering how this person feels about you, they are 100% on board. And they're going to let you know that the next time the two of you see each other. Or on the second or on the third date. Okay, they're gonna tell you that they're getting, they're ready to go to make it, to make it all away with you. Hence, all these serious cards, and it's gonna be up to you what you wanna do after that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do an extended for you. I think it's gonna be up to you. Anyway, really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. Capricorn, if uh, you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this pet is for you. We have the Magician, the Knight of Swords, the Will of Fortune, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Virgo, Sagittarius on the table. This is a very fast forward moving spread. A very decisive spread as well. Right? For some of you, somebody could be coming over or you could be deciding to go somewhere. But though this spread is very speedy, <laughs> you know, very fast. It's like no hesitation whatsoever, zero delays, right? The Magician, the first card that came out could be either a Gemini or a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Magician is a card of manifestation and most importantly, it's a card of taking action. Okay, um, yeah, the Knight of Swords, the next card over could be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, or since it's the fastest knight out of all four knights, there could be travel involved here, or if uh, there is a decision to start something, to do something, to go somewhere, there's, there isn't going to be any delays, no procrastination whatsoever, zero. Right, speaking of uh, deciding, thinking, speaking of making decisions, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a very decisive energy. With the Ace of Swords, somebody who says something and, you know, things start happening, things start, uh, you know, taking place, taking shape, things start starting. <laughs> Please forgive the tautology. But, uh, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, again, another travel card, or it's the start of a new cycle. So perhaps one of you has a bright idea about something, and uh, the other one is 100% on board right away, and you're like, so, yeah, let's do this right now, let's go, right? <laughs> you know, somebody could be coming over, uh, you could be going somewhere, um, but uh, it's, it's real quick, real quick, all right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, uh, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Cups. And we also have the Nine of Ones on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Right? We've got Pentacles, Cups, and Ones. All right? Um... Yeah, you got somebody coming back to you, but I think they're coming back for all the wrong reasons, Capricorn. It's like, um, you're the person in the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck clarified by the uh, Four of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles is a single person card, but most importantly, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is in the center of attention. Somebody who is admired by many. Somebody who is... Uh, Perhaps you're glowing up right now. Perhaps you're very popular right now. Perhaps something just happened to you or you just, you know, picked yourself up, dusted yourself off after the two of you broke up. And uh, you're just, you, you, you're you glowing, glowing up, right? And uh, perhaps that's why they're coming back because they want a piece of the action. They want to be cool by association, <laughs> right? Uh, they just, uh, they miss being in the spotlight because you're definitely in the spotlight, judging by what we have. And... That's what I think is uh, motivating them, you know, because they want to be back in the spotlight. And I think you'll know it, right? You'll see right through this person. And therefore, the Four of Cups, clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, this is you rejecting them. The Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is you putting up a wall between yourself and them, because, again, you know why they're actually coming back. Okay? So, yeah, that's what I have. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Capricorn, this week. We have the King of Swords, uh, the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Seven of Wands. We have uh, the Queen 
of swords and the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. The king and the queen of swords, when those two come out in the spread together, this is my power couple. So I think this week you are joining forces with somebody. Okay, and it's like you are either defending something together or you are, you know, just want to achieve something together. Yeah, both of you have a common goal and uh, you're fighting for it. Like literally getting in the conference room and fighting for it. Okay, but uh, the good news, I think you will win. <laughs> okay, so before I start clarifying, we have the King of Swords, the Will of Fortune, and the Queen of Swords. You can assign the roles as you wish. It can be either the King or the Queen of Swords, doesn't matter to me. The Will of Fortune is that common goal, right? It's a start of a cycle, or perhaps you're pushing something through so something could continue. Perhaps there is an obstacle, perhaps somebody says something against, or somebody has another idea. Right, and uh, the Seven of Wands, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, this is a card of an active defense. So both of you are defending the same thing. Right, and uh, the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a fight, it's a card of a competition, it's a card of, uh, you know, uh, the two of you fighting for whatever that Wheel of Fortune represents in your particular case. Right, so you're pushing through some kind of an agenda, and both of you are on board with what's going on. Perhaps you both are, you know, executives, <laughs> and uh, you have a particular vision of where the company should go next, and both of you are defending that. Or perhaps there is one, there is a couple of products that the, your company is thinking of uh, releasing, but the company can only release one product, right? And both of you are defending that particular product. I hope that makes sense. Whatever it is, you are on the same page with this King of Swords, you're a power couple, you're going to push something through, or you will make sure something either starts or continues to go the way you see it. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Capricorn, this week. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, clarified by the uh, Nine of Wands. And we also have the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries. I think this is a repeat of the X spread I did for you um, a couple of minutes ago. It looks kind of the same, right? The Five of Pentacles is here. This is somebody feeling left out in the cold. And... Um, yeah, <laughs> and your reaction is going to be, you know what, thanks, but no thanks. I know what you want, I know you just want to be back in the spotlight, right? The full all the way to your left, I just noticed, right? Uh, in the full card, there is a sun in the right upper corner. So the person in the full car card is in the spotlight, right? Because of the clear skies. That's what they want. That's what they actually want. The Eight of Wands, the first card that came out is a card of communication, or it's a card of them, you know, coming over, <laughs> or they're going to be letting you know that they're coming over, right? And uh, you're going to turn them down. You're actually going to shut them down, right? The X spread looked like, uh, you were like, you know what, thanks, but no thanks. But this spread right here, especially with that Five of Swords, uh, I think you're going to share some thoughts. You will have some words for this person and they're not going to appreciate it. Okay, you're just going to put your... Oh, I'm, I don't even want to know <laughs> what you're going to tell them, but they're definitely not going to like it. Alright, so that's what I have for you Capricorn for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that Capricorn, have an amazing week.